Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I'm in this amazing place. First shot is a pano sweep all the way across. We've got a bit of drama, a bit of mood, a bit of atmosphere in that sky. But more importantly than that, it rained last night. It didn't rain too heavy, not heavy enough to have raised the water levels, but all the rocks are wet. So it looks, I think, so much moodier when the rocks are wet with just a little bit of light kicking off various surfaces stunning i really 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 like this image i'm just starting off this shot with a pano sweep from left to right my setup is as normal my tripod is nice and level portrait orientation i've got a two second exposure at f16 i'll, I'll take about eight or nine shots moving across making sure i overlap them an awful lot and i'm under exposing quite a bit and I prefer to do that on a day like today because I want this image to be dark and moody. Coming up shortly in this video I want to talk you through my process of how I go about shooting low-key images. In case you're wondering what low-key images are, low keys when the scene is quite dark. I want to try and darken the mood right right down but just exaggerate certain elements within the frame based on on light based on luminance so i'll probably end up taking a nice black and white image but i'll just look for certain parts of the image and highlight them in post processing it's a great great thing to do and hopefully once you've seen this video you might even go out and give it a try yourself right okay having said all that now it's starting to rain again <laughs> isn't that just typical This is a lovely, lovely shot. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but I've got my polarizer on the front of the lens and I'm using that to get rid of all of these reflections. And in which case that water's rendered really, really dark. Contrast that against all of the white bubbles that are emitting from the bottom of the waterfall down below to my left hand side that I can't quite see and we've got a lovely white mist going into the dark water that I absolutely love 
and the door. Oh, the lighting here is just immense. The last of the yellow trees are popping so fantastically well. This is just delightful. I'm going to grossly underexpose this image. But I'm at ISO 50 F16 with a two second exposure because I want movement in this water and that looks fantastic. Love, love, love this shot. And in this light, the last of the yellow autumnal colors are just popping against the, well, actually they're fairly similar colors, but for some unknown reason, that yellow tree just pops against the mustard and greens of the mountain in the background. Like I say, with that polarizer on there, making all of the foreground water really, really dark. And with that two second exposure, which has given me a little bit of movement in the water, I am super excited about this particular shot focusing on that rock down there which is a third of the way into the frame and oh that is just delightful these clouds are just getting better and better and better let's just make sure i'm all clean okay so let's talk you through This low-key image, in my mindset now, I'm going to take this shot as a black and white image. And it's going to be very, very moody. There's no trick to it, but let's first of all get set up, get my composition right, get my level right. That looks, oh, look at that. That is awesome. This rock here is a bit tricky because it's going to have to be in the image, but I've placed it at the bottom third, so it works fine. This coming from the bottom left-hand side, Moody Mountains up there with a lone tree. And that looks terrific. Now, the secret with this is just to grossly underexpose the image. So with my histogram on, I'm going to push it all the way to the end so that it's clipping just. Now it's there, I'm going to pull it back two stops, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've underexposed this image by two stops. That way, it'll really bring all of this detail right down in the frame. And the sky will look really, really nice. Now the idea of this is to make the image really, really dark and moody and just highlight the little kicks of light, the little natural kicks of light that you could see throughout the frame. I'll post-process this image now and let you guys have a look at it and see what you think. Well, a cardinal sin. I got my drone out and of course, as always when you get your drone out, especially in Scotland, it starts raining. And sadly, it hasn't stopped since. So. Um, I'm going to have to call it there, I'm afraid. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the low-key image. I'll show you the black and white, the colour version. You can leave a comment if you want, which one you prefer. It's entirely up to you. I don't like asking for stuff like that, but if you do have a preference, let me know. Now, when it comes to low-key photography, it does take a certain skill level in post-production. But, of course, you know, if you've never tried it, then why not give it a go? You might even surprise yourself. Right, so all that's left for you to say is thank you very much indeed for watching this channel. If you want to find your way back and you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscription button and hit the notification bell as well so that you'll find out when I post other totally amazing videos like this one. <laughs> and do me a favor, help support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much indeed. Until the next time, guys, cheers.